Well, what about ship repairs? Yeah, we gotta take care of that first. Let's stop at a nearby dock colony. That all right with you? Of course. Thank you for taking us. Well, relax and enjoy the trip. Hey, Ms. Vector, show him around, would you? Hmm, he's being unusually nice. What? I got a booger hanging out of my nose, or...? What? Uh, oh, no, 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 nothing, nothing. Who'd I think I compared him All to right Mal? Then. Shall we go? Momo? Ziggy? He's got one side of Mal to him, but he's missing a lot of Mal. It's just not even close. And I believe this is the part where we are back in control. We are back in control. Let's talk to people again. How you doing, Chaos? I have foul mouths, but they aren't as bad as they look. Don't let them bother you. Of course not. Of course not. Uh, who's in our party? It is, of course, Shion, Ziggy, and Momo. And I don't think we need to really do anything here. Um, well, I don't think we're... Yeah, we don't need to do anything here. So, let's just move on for now. And explore the ship once more. Huge difference compared to our useless Tony here. You guys just can't let it go, can you? I'm actually getting all right up being compared to a little munchkin like her. But he seems like he's consoling Alan, but Alan doesn't want to talk, I guess. Top of the line bartending robot. Um, screaming orgasm on the beach. I'll also have a drink. Let's head over here. I don't think there's actually anything. I know there's a couple mails that we need to get. Once again, because we're not under attack anymore, we need to get mail. I think... Ah, this is the kitchen. Yes, it is the kitchen. And Cosmos is in the kitchen. I'll help out too. There is no need for additional manpower to complete this task. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, Cosmos, that was rude. She was trying to be nice. Analysis of the current situation shows that I can manage without the help of others. There's no need to divert more personnel to this location. See, she's not... She's so not cute. What? And she's always like this. I didn't know that cute was what we were going for. Once again, you guys freaking left the stove on. Who does that? Who leaves the stove on? You know, this whole place could go up and then there's zombies that'll run. That's probably not this game. I'll just leave it alone. Let's just head over here. And we can start going through all, well, the ship's stuff. I mean, we need to go through all this. I think the trigger now is uh, going to sleep. So even if they ask you, do not go to sleep. If you want to get all the emails and stuff like that. And I think... Yeah, th there are three that we're looking for, two, and then a reply. This is cabin two. They usually let me use this huge cabin by myself. You get to use it all by yourself, Shion? Yes, I think the captain was trying to be thoughtful because I'm a woman. The captain did that, but why? It's more fun to be with everyone. <laughs> that's... That's... Creepy. <clears throat> That's true. To be honest, I was a little lonely, but starting today, you'll be here with me, so I won't be so lonesome anymore. I hope we'll make good roommates. Momo. Yes, I hope we'll be good roommates, too. So that's this room. No, no, no. I have to show them around properly. Once again, don't go to sleep if you're looking to get all the emails. Staying up late is bad for... Staying up late is bad for your skin? Oh, God. More things for me to worry about. I'm going to have terrible skin. Staying up late apparently is bad for it. This is news to me. Don't think I've ever heard that one before. Uh, this is also a good time if you did not get the... Uh, did not get the segment address door number 10 done yet. Uh, back in Cosmos, this is in Cephalon. Now would be a good time to do that as well. 100 series reality and a prototype at that. I never thought I'd meet one in a place like this. Looks like I've got the devil's own luck. You kind of do. Trunk off because you're not really important to anything anymore, I guess. We'll see. We'll see. He, ha he hasn't been really part of this plot for a while now. We'll see if he makes a comeback into the forefront of it. But as for now, he's just kind of there. Well, we need to bring him curry, but still. 
This is Cabin 1. It's the room the people of this ship use. Alan and Commander Cherenkov also stay here. It's a wonderful cabin. Yes, it is. I hear the Elsa was originally a luxury space cruiser. That's why there's a high-class feel to everything in both its exterior and interior, even though it's a cargo passenger ship. I wouldn't say it's luxurious on the outside. It looks pretty nice on the inside. It does have, like, a higher-class feel to it, I guess you could say. Uh, this guy, I don't think he does anything else. How about getting some good rest? Don't rest. Don't push yourself too hard. Just don't, just don't do it. Don't. Uh, we'll move on once again. Now, I think we are done here on the first floor. No, we probably should go to the bridge. We do want to show everybody around properly, after all. Uh, don't try to open this door. People get mad at you. Just because it's an airlock. Whatever. I want to see space. You never let me see space. Just And it's blackness and it's emptiness and it's I can't breathe -ness. Never let me do anything. I swear. Let's see. This is the bridge. The frontmost part is the pilot console and that's Tony's seat. The left front is the navigator seat. That's where Hammer sits. The right front is the engineer's control seat. The rear is the fire control seat. And the seat attached to the arm protruding from the left rear area is the captain's seat. Seat. That's where Captain Matthews sits. Maybe it's just me, but does that mean chaos is on on guns control? It's kind of weird. He doesn't seem like the guy that'd be, you know, gun heavy. I heard that all the controls can be automated for routine voyages. Probably this is supposed to be like a cruise ship after all. Wouldn't surprise me if this was all being done by autopilot. And as you can see, there is nobody here. So, can I... Can I, do, I don't think I can do anything with these consoles, unfortunately. I can't make it crash. I can't veer us off course. Apparently I need a remote control in order to get into the captain's seat, which I do not have. So we'll just move on once more. We do need to head into uh, the, the basement once more. Hopefully I can remember my way around this time. That'd probably be better than me having to cut to find, as I explore. I'm like, where the hell am I? We need to head back actually to the catapult room, which is... Uh, kind of a weird place for us to go, considering that's where they entered, if I remember right. Ziggy and Momo, I mean, when they entered, they entered in through, uh, through the catapult, and, yeah, we just have to keep on going round and round in circles, don't we? So, round here, and I don't think anything has respawned. Remember, there was something in here, so this is your test, really, to see if things have respawned. They have not. So, let's go ahead and head down to the second floor. Just, yeah, okay. Double check. Still not here. Good. Fine. We'll move on. Now, the first mail that I'm going to get is in Catapult Room at the north. We're not actually showing off anything there. That's just where we need to go. Once again, mail! It's important to make sure you check your email. You don't want people leaving you messages and you never answer back. They think they don't care. you don't care about them, and you don't. But you don't want them to know that. This is the catapult deck. This is where we took in the two of you earlier. You saved us with the fork arms. Thank you so much. Not at all. We have to help each other out in times of need. I'm really sorry about your ship, though. We had to throw it out because it was badly damaged. That's not a problem. It wasn't ours to begin with. Oh, really? Yes, we borrowed it in order to escape. You are amazing. I can't believe you actually cut our small ship using that arm. Just happened to have some practice operating a crane on the previous ship I was on. I am the best. I'm the drill masteress. Something like that. <laughs> that really helped out, but it was mostly luck. Um, so I guess there was a scene in here why they need to know about the place that they entered. I'm not exactly sure. But we can head all the way up to the top. Once again, just go to the most random location you can think of. You'll get an email. Let's go ahead and read that email. It is number 26, it looks like. Uh, another investment notice. Uh, right, blah, blah, blah. The companies that we have today are 
ACM uh, key figures. Who, these are the key figures that started Vector. Ah, advanced cluster machines. The practice of the Mercury. The, 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 they are being used to develop Huggins. AG series eggs. The next generation machine to succeed the Beta 9000 GX is currently under development at ACM. Um, oh, this one, um, you, you couldn't have gotten this one unless you had already invested to, uh, jeez. Replied to email number 21, which one was that? <laughs> oh, God. The UM fund last time, the, the last not the, not the first one, but the, the last time that we invested, you had to re, you had to respond to that one in order to get this one. Next up, we have Mercedes uh, Technologies, which you would think would be copyrighted, but you'd be wrong apparently. Uh, Dispersion uh, Computing Research Group. OB Tech. OB Tech is used by over 1,000 industries around the universe, although its architecture is different from the UMN. Uh, that doesn't... I mean, do you really want to invest in the competitor to the UMN? It's ubiquitous, you know what I mean? And we have Vector Column. Uh, yes. It's it's Vector. What do you want me to... Yeah, they have a 63% market share. Not quite Google, but still pretty damn good. Uh, Vectorcom has a partnership with VentureLink. They are working on developing software to control the Rigel Particle Accelerator. Uh, so futuristic, and they still have particle accelerators. Uh, this time you need 2,000 G. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reply to this. And, of course, I will go for Venture. I mean, why wouldn't I go for Venture, Vector, all that kind of stuff? Yes, Vector. It's, it's just, it's always the best one. So, that's email number 27 is what you get, well, for investing in this. In order to get this, and the next email will should be the um, dividends for this, we have to go kind of a ways. But we, we were going to go there anyway. Of course, this is all optional. Going around the LSO once more is all optional. You don't have to do this. You could just fall asleep, and that will uh, progress the plot. But instead, we are going to continue on. We have pretty much just one more place that we should go. Uh, we could probably go to more places, but... Yeah... This, this is uh, well. I'll probably go to them anyway. But this is the one that we need to go to for the mail. After that, everything else is pretty optional. So back across here, we need to head back uh, to the room with the safe point, which is referred to as Lab One, as we'll find out very shortly here. I don't think they gave it a name. Maybe it's on the walls, and I just wasn't paying close enough attention. But this is Lab One. If it loads. I wonder if this is a vacant room. The lab? Sure. What do you think, Ziggy? How about we make this your room? Sure, that will be fine. Then I'll ask the captain later. This ship has all sorts of supplies on board. They might even have a maintenance bed for cyborgs. Sorry for all the trouble. Thank you. What tr freaking... Uh, freaking guy. Okay, so that is... Uh, I guess you don't even have to go here. Well, you don't have to go anywhere, but... Uh, what you want to do is try to exit through the north doors here, and you get another email. And this one should just be the reply, and we should start getting our dividends for uh, from VentureLink, uh, which was the second uh, investment that we had made. This time we got uh, 4,000 gold. Sorry, G. Not gold, that'd be weird. Uh, and we get a discount of 10% on all eggs weapons, which is probably your best bet if you don't think that you'll be even purchasing that much eggs weapons at all, like ever, then I guess Tesla would technically be the better investment. I think you do get more as you keep going. It could just be the one dividends, though. Uh, Tesla will give you 6,000 G, and uh, the middle one, which was uh, CUDC, they'll give you two speed stems. Uh, so this is still probably your best bet here, VentureLink. You get 4,000 G and 10% discount on all eggs. 
this stuff. And that's it for the emails. So, hooray! <gasps> we're, we're done with the emails once again for now. I'm sure there will be more. So, let's continue on with the tour. Just a couple more places for us to go, really. And that is down here in the hangar bay, and then uh, Cosmos' little maintenance room, and that's probably it. This is hangar one, a hangar exclusively for eggs. Uh, they let me store mine here, too. It's a beautiful eggs. I've never seen an eggs like it before. It's one of our prototypes that was supposed to be tested during Will Glenday's trial run, but I never imagined it would actually come into use. Now, that raises a question that, once again, will probably never be answered. How the hell did Xion's eggs get over here? It was, it was on the Will Glenday. Whose eggs is that one over there? Yeah. Uh, hold on. Well, I just bitch a little bit. It was on the one Glen Day. I don't remember storing it in the, the life pod. If if we did, we probably should have ditched it and put Cherenkov inside the life pod. So I don't know. They had some sort of transport. I, I don't understand. Maybe they salvaged it. They never really say how the eggs got here, which is uh, weird. That's the Elsa's eggs. It seems chaos pilots it for the most part. I heard that Hammer put it together himself from junk parts salvaged from battlefields. Really, Hammer is very skilled. He is. He is very skilled. I think he does all the repairs on the Elsa, too. Someone like Hammer is a rare find. There aren't too many people like that, even in Vector's second R&D division. So, that explains the eggs somewhat. Not really. Once again, and and now these things are down. So here's here's Shion's and here on this side is Chaos's. Kinda nice. I don't know. They don't they don't do the descriptions like they did in Xenogears, so I can't really go over it, but once again they're not that important to the game. Not nearly like they were in, in Xenogears. Or even in the later ones. Uh, in this series thing. They'll become more more important, but in this particular game, not so much. You can I, I think I'll be able to go through the whole game without having to use them. I don't remember if I actually have to use them ever. Uh, this used to be a vacant room, but I'm borrowing it to use as a maintenance lab for Cosmos. Is that Cosmos' maintenance bed? It sure is. Yes, after being active for a set amount of time. She sleeps there and her data is uploaded to the company headquarters. I can also feed back the activity data to update the OS. Uh, which is weird that it, even, it doesn't really matter where she is, uh, that she has a connection to Vector headquarters to upload her data using this machine. So Cosmo sleeps too? Yes, even if I disconnect her from the outside world, her central systems remain active. I wonder what kind of dream she has. She dreams of electric sheep, of course. That's probably something only Cosmos would know. I hope she has sweet dreams. So do I. Probably has the same dreams that Reallians have. Don't Reallians sleep? Probably be very, very similar. And that is actually it. Uh, what I would need to do now is go back to the cabin, uh, the southern one in the, the main deck, which is Xion and now Momo's room, and go to sleep, which I will do. And we will take care of what happens after that next time. That's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. I've been Bella Scuba. I've been joined as always by our rescued squad of Shion, Ziggy, and Momo. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>